Hello everyone, we're back again with another critique video. Today on the channel, we have Mayo Clinic again. We have Mayo Clinic again with a one minute and six second clip entitled Mayo Clinic Minute. Plant-based diet is encouraged for patients with cancer. Now, of course, if you know anything about anything, you know that it's not, by any sensible person, an auspicious, propitious approach to ameliorating cancer, okay, at all, and we'll get to that later. But what's most humorous and comical about this is that YouTube says from an accredited U.S. hospital, so it's an appeal to authority, and the comments are turned off. Great. So, anyway, let's just go ahead and jump right into this because my camera is going to die anyway, so let me just sum this up real quick. It's the dietary pattern that the organizations such as the American Institute for Cancer Research and the American Cancer Society recommend is a plant-predominant diet. And that is exactly why you shouldn't do it, because it is administered and promulgated by misanthropic institutions that profit off of people's sickness. It's just a fact now. That's not a conspiracy theory. What do the pharmaceutical industries get money off of? For example, we know this stuff. It's just a fact. That's what their profit incentive is, okay? So let's get that out of the way. But also, plants contain an exorbitant level of carbohydrates, an excessive amount. Excessive being more than zero. <laughs> And if you didn't know, carbohydrates causally exacerbate cancer. Since the mitochondria within cancer cells are damaged heavily, they're unable to create energy efficiently, which means that they require up to 40,000% more glucose to function than other normal functioning cells. Now, glutamine, to be fair, is another source of fuel for cancer cells, which is why some ketogenic metabolic therapies do not actually work for some malignancies, but they do for others. But primarily glucose. And glucose itself actually will bind to DNA and promote carcinogenesis by causing mutations to it. And the common denominator for all cancers is DNA damage damage, DNA distortion. So even though we don't have any causal proof that it causes cancer, one may speculate what they wish with this information, let's just say. So anyway. It has an emphasis on whole foods. That okay, well, uh, tomatoes and fruits aren't whole foods because they're not food for human beings and they never have been. They're human inventions, actually, for the most part. Not all fruit and not all plants, of course. But that tomato you see right there, why is it that big? Includes a variety of fresh vegetables and fruits, whole grains, beans, nuts, and seeds, says Dr. All contraindicated and insalubrious compounds containing lectins, oxalates, phytates, tannins, polyphenols, which are not good, by the way. Fiber, a contraindication in the human diet. Binge my channel if you don't know about that yet. Or buy my book, Contraindicated, when it's out. On Musalem. It's gonna have whole grains. Not processed grains, but whole grains. Okay, these people are clearly reading off of a script. It is a canned, manufactured speech here. Monologue, rhetoric, written by Mayo Clinic. Mayo Clinic recently just lost even more credibility, which I didn't even know was possible, by having a dietitian, a registered dietitian, write a post on their page talking about how the lion diet or carnivore diet is not the way to go when it comes to achieving optimal health or losing weight. Skip ultra processed foods. Limit or avoid red and processed meats. No, red meat is what we have evolved on and have been eating for four and a half million years primarily, as established unequivocally by stable nitrogen and carbon isotope analysis conducted in 2019 on the collagen of the long bones of ancient human remains using a mass spectrometer, which established unequivocally that 80% of our effective fuel intake was in the form of red ruminant meat primarily, and the other 20% being subsistence food whenever hunts were unsuccessful, primarily in the forms of fruit in the ever ephemeral, ever transient fruit season, which is nothing like the fruit we see today after human hybridization and human breeding, like I just alluded to earlier, and also very fibrous tubers and roots, which once again was not starchy. It's starchy now because of human hybridization. It was fibrous. We had to break it down first by cooking it, and even then, a lot of times we would spit out the fiber. So, um, no. Red meat should be your primary source of fuel, if not the exclusive fuel for your body. Hate to break it to you, whether I like that or whether you like that or not. As you guys should know by now, no supplements need to be taken on a carnivore diet, as you can derive everything you need from such a diet. However, this does not mean there aren't certain nutraceuticals that can be taken to further ameliorate inflammation and, subsequently, any illness, disorder, and disease one may be plagued with. One of the best products on the market, if not the best product in doing such a thing, is the flagship product to a company known as Cerule called Stem Enhance Ultra, which effectuates the release of one's own inherent stem cells from their bone marrow. When this occurs, this results in what may be perceived by some to be the epitome of regeneration. Now, I cannot under any circumstances claim any cause and effect relationships from this product and any hard health outcomes. However, one may speculate what they wish with this information. If you want to know more about this product or are interested in buying this product, as well as many other products from the Cerule Company, please refer to the link on the screen now or the description below. The American Cancer Society says it's unknown if there's a safe level of consumption for either red or processed meats. Process to lump 
hot dogs in with red meat is just facile and honestly deliberately obtuse of you. They're not the same thing. There is a safe level of it. Love how they're talking about safe levels of red meat, but not safe level of carbohydrates, which causally exacerbate cancer. It's called the Warburg effect, discovered by Otto Warburg in the 1920s. He won the Nobel Peace Prize and was nominated 46 times before he even won it. Smart man. Considered a carcinogen. Yeah, and that's based on vapid epidemiological studies, which aren't science at all. Do you even know what epidemiology is? It's called the class two carcinogen. It's classified as such. Or the to replace some of that. Th that's all I have. To, I, I just have to give a look as to what my feelings are about the. <laughs> can't talk about it, but. Meat component where folks get protein. You want to lean in on consumptions of pulses. Pulses include legumes or beans, lentils, and peas. No, that protein isn't even relatively bioavailable. For example, 70% of the protein in wheat is gluten. You absorbing any of that, or is it disrupting your gut, along with other things as well? Look up zonulin. You'll add protein and fiber. In the American fiber is a contraindication in the human diet and is abrasive to the enteric nervous system. For cancer research shows. Don't do that. Don't eat that. In the American Institute for Cancer Research shows. No. Research shows is a trite banal phrase and is insipid in the extreme and is said ad nauseum to the point where it actually shows your ignorance and gullible nature. This is just garrulous, bloviating, loquacious nonsense. For every 10 gram increase in fiber in the diet, you improve survival. Improve is a cause and effect word. I was waiting for that. There are no studies to inform upon the risk of any heart health outcome or disease process as that relates to any aspect of human nutrition over any given period of time throughout the entire time human nutrition science has existed because it's not causal research. It is not causal science. So that includes not only establishing the risks of diseases, but also the improvement of diseases. That's why I said that in the first place. The benefit of foods, including meat. The science doesn't prove that. You look at hard sciences. You stop being so myopic and you look at hard sciences, particularly biochemistry, really. Chemical anthropology as well. Which is what I referred to earlier. Okay, so no, whatever you're about to say next, no, it doesn't. Cancer diagnosis by 13%. Association, ever heard of healthy user bias? For example, propaganda. Propaganda machine. Once again, by the way, you should check out that video. 1.3 thousand views on the first Mayo Clinic video I did. Thank you, Bart K, for promoting that. Look forward to talking to you this week. Anyway, yeah, just a bunch of nonsense. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, please subscribe, please leave your comments below. Also, most importantly, subscribe to the Patreon to gain access to one week early uploads, one extra video per week, ad-free content, uncensored content, and all access to on-screen references or citations because those are blurred, I'm sorry. As low as $1 a month, I'm sure that a lot of you won't be missing that. There's $5 a month and there's $8 a month. More content will be uploaded to the $8 a month tier or $8 a month tier whenever I gain more mobility and I improve with respect to my condition, which is still debilitating me to many degrees, actually. I'm about 70% there, I had to say. But also, please refer to the link on the screen, the Cerule link. If you want more details as to what those products do, when you should take them, why you should take them, who should take them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, I have an entirely elaborate and thoroughly elucidated video video with respect to Cerule up in one of the corners of the screen right now and also in the description below. Whenever you buy those, if you sign up for monthly deliveries, you get 10% off your first monthly delivery and I just get a $5 commission for anyone that buys through that link. So it's not like you're giving me a lot of your money. It's really Cerule giving me theirs if you buy through that link. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or X and TikTok before I get banned from TikTok. I've already gotten one community guideline violation. So that should honestly aggrandize me in the perception of you guys because that's just more evidence that I'm telling the truth. Email me at edgoki14 at gmail.com if you have any questions or or if you would like to recommend that I watch videos in particular, I have a huge stash, a superfluous stash in my abditory here on YouTube and also on Instagram, but I will put those aside to cater my content towards what the viewers would like and what they're demanding, of course. So anyway, with that being said, join me next time when we critique someone else that has no idea what the hell they're talking about in any respect, whether it be biochemistry, human physiology, comparative anatomy, paleoanthropology, chemical anthropology, physics, statistics and research methods, etc., etc., etc. So until then.